killed the JSA again. Yes, I am so excited for Stargirl to return. It's a great feeling. Oh my gosh, yes. Go do what we came here to do. It'll be a lot that's familiar, but then also a lot that's exciting and new. Last season, it ended with a giant battle between the ISA and the JSA. Everyone in our group sort of suffers their own personal losses. No more Dr. Midnight. Beth Chapel's goggles were completely shattered. I watched Henry die, and now I'm gonna watch you die. Yolanda killed Brainwave, and it's kind of eating me alive. Go on, get out of here, and never come back! Rick has spared Grundy, which is like this massive moment for him. <laughs> it was fun to end with a bang. Yeah. Does this mean I get to be in the JSA? His dad was killed at the hands of the JSA, which Cameron is unaware of. I mean, think about what that would do to him. When season two begins, Courtney is insistent on finding a problem, and there really isn't one. Right now, we're protecting a town that doesn't really need it. Courtney has failed a class. What? She has to go to summer school. But it's like the calm before the storm. <laughs> At the end of the season, Cindy finds a black diamond that holds a very dark entity. Eclipso. He is pure evil. I am ready to serve you. Yes. My character is extremely hungry. He's got a huge appetite, and he just wants to devour the whole world. Breaking the rules can be fun. The shade is so mysterious. We kind of can't figure out if he's here to help us or hurt us. Oh, my. I hope I have enough biscuits. This new season takes a crazy turn. Every time we get a new script, I'm like, do I die in this episode? It's kind of like a worst nightmare situation. Stay out of my way.